Well, I'm just going to do a quick update here on my switchable tunes. As you can see, I got an actual dial in here now, so it's like regular tune here, and then we have like a street tune there, and then a race tune there. We go back to the street tune, regular tune, or if I go this way, that's like a valet mode, so it's super, super slow. And then if I go back one more, you can watch the logs. So you can see now we're on a 12 valve tune. That'd be like your 12 valve street tune. And then I could go up one more, and that'd be your 12 valve race tune. So you got six levels. They all work exactly how they should, so. Okay, we'll just go for a quick drive on the 12 volt tune. As you can see, it's truck with a 12 valve tune, or I guess you could say no pilot injection tune. So we'll just rip up this hill a little bit here, and we'll try out some different power levels. I don't know the simplest way to really show you what's going on, so I'll just go for a drive and I'll switch through some levels. Hard to drive and shift and record and all that at the same time, but I kind of want to do it in one video here. So I'm just driving up this road now, and you can see I'll have power. There's some power there, but if we go back to my uh, pilot injection tune valet mode, Foot to the floor right now. This is really slow. Foot to the floor, and I'll flick it up with foot to the floor. And you got some power. Or I'll flick it up again. it up again. This would be max level 10. Depending on your setup, what you got in your truck, it would be different, obviously. So here we'll go. As you can see, there's fuel and timing. Maybe we'll go back down. So like, just a good all-around tune, I think this would be. It's definitely faster than stock, but it's you can't hurt your truck in any way. So that was like foot to the floor there. I'll try again. As you can see, nothing crazy. Flick it up one more, try again. Here, I'll flick it up one more. It's kind of really hard to show and drive at the same time without crashing this thing and shift. So, here, I'm going to pull over here and we'll see if we can just see on the logs a noticeable difference. We should be able to. See, and I can... Just switch it back to 12 volt tune while I'm driving. There it is, now we're on 12 volt tune again.
let's just pull in here real quick and we'll have a look at the log we just took. We should be able to see noticeable differences in the power levels. So you're just idling away on a 12 valve tune right now. It starts getting annoying. Come on. Back to normal. See here, you can see <laughs> it's pretty obvious. There's one level, two levels, three levels, four levels. So yeah, it all it all works really really well in every way in my truck. The uh, early O3 and O4 ECU, but I'm gonna try get some other other guys that are local to try it in their trucks first before I release it. But yeah, it 100% works. It's good to go. It's coming. You can watch it change. Yeah, I just wanted to make a quick update so you guys didn't think I gave up on this or something. Yeah, let's switch it back to normal tune. It takes a second to go into 12 valve. These could be set to anything. So they, they could be just the regular tunes with added timing down here, or then you have your regular your normal tunes up there. I mean, I can set them to whatever you want. I just figured this would be the most obvious way to show like proof of concept kind of thing. So yeah, it's coming. Just uh, you gotta wait a little longer. I'm gonna get a couple local guys to try it out for me and then, yeah, we'll go from there. This is the Duramax we put the injector return seals in. It's got it all lifted up now with some nice wheels on it. We got it tuned as well. It seems to be running great. Yeah, I just wanted to make a quick update on it because I think it looks really good with those wheels.